Gifri Aspirational District Project Khan under the Tikpra Park Nakuria Opode Amahato Ranch Students Union or Amahato Area GPS Union Pra Kushin Apajan Edition. Aspirational District under the Niti Ayok Gifri Laga District Nodal Officer Ge Hodao Di Grishe. Arsu Aro Amahato Area GPS Union Laga Office Pra Aspirational District Funds Allocation Karne RTA under report Dishi Aro Jenny Paishaki Niti Ayok Pra Aspirational district under the total 35 crores prabishi sanction kurigina se. Aji to ami khan yete dujun leaders logo de yete kotha bolle aishe. Amhato range to the union laga president or GS logo de aise ami khan. Ami khan ki free do aspirational district nam to bishi sundor benefit bi bishi aise 2017 de declare bushi November mohina de. It is much of the Amigan fund be Bishi Aisha. According to the RTI report, the Amhato Range Student Union filed well at the Pais up to the 35 crore fund. I can say, will it be? Bishop so sober as a reality. Mati de Saja will do paperwork like a mia say. Paperwork to completed digging as a most of the projects according to the RTI report. Will it be? It is reality in a decay. So today, I'm going to have more details. I'm going to have President, Arsula President, as well as the GS. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for the time. We really appreciate you for taking these kind of steps. We need pressure groups who really stand for people. There are only few beneficiaries here, which development number. So what are the you know, things you have found out and what are the things you want to put in uh, to the channel? Okay, first of all, thank you for having us. Uh, Amikan, we have filed an RDI for Aspirational District. Aspirational District was selected by Niti Ayo Kifri in the year 2017, November, after which uh, different ministry, mm -hmm. yeah. Government of India has sanctioned the money for the development of Kifri District, entire Kifri District. Mm -hmm. but when we filed an RDI, we found out that Amhado, since we are from Amhado Range Students Union, especially we are dealing with Amhado Range Students Union, according to the RDI source, more than 35 crores have been sanctioned by the government of India, Niti Ayok, but only 11 lakhs 28,000 was sanctioned to Amhado ESC. So we want to know from the authority, concerned authority, and all the higher ups that what grading. What grading was given by Niti Ayo for the development of this aspirational district? So, yeah. only 11 lakhs to 28,000 was sanctioned to Amahadur area. Whereas, in other areas, and even in the district headquarters, all the in paper, all are completed, the works are completed. Yet, in practical when we see, there is no projects which is undertaken up by the uh, aspirational project. So we want to inquire uh, the district administration and all the nodal officers of aspirational district, what grading was given by the DAO and why only 11 lakh to 28,000 was sanctioned to Amador ESC headquarters. However, even Amador ESC headquarters office itself is in the verge of collapse. So why such an ill treatment was given to the Amador area? That is our caution. So we have given it in the pre media also, we have given them uh, one week to clarify why this uh, step model treatment was given to Amado area. That is what uh, our pre media, what, what we have officially given to uh, pre media and the same point we are standing here. In this case, uh, when we look up the history, Amado EC was established as we have uh, noted in the RDL. It was established in 1987. From that day onwards, till today, as the GS has said, the EC, the administration, whatever the development, even if developmentally, socially, economically, we are neglected by the, uh, to be frankly, uh, the government and the administration. And we expect, we was expecting that at least in this very scheme, aspirational, something changes will bring in our area. Are under our EAC books. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but when we at last 
when we file this RDS, when we uh, uh, reviewed those uh, development as, uh, projects in our area, it was very uh, sad to know that we are the ones neglected by the administrations, even by the uh, politicals, frankly. Mm -hmm. This is the main reason that we filed this RGS and this is the main reason that we are uh, showing dismay to the government. Government. Whatever development that occurred in uh, Sochun Town, I'm hard to develop to develop to be Since they are ADC, yeah, we are yeah. just in ESC. True. But what we demand is that at least creating pillar mm. system, the it was aspirational lava project to do not only for Kifri uh, district headquarters. Yes, yes, yes. It's for the entire yes, yes. even including the village yes, village yes. administration. Mm. So, sub EAC, Nahole, ATC, STO, mm -hmm. even the village administration, the mm -hmm. So, when we go about that, mm -hmm. every village has put up different proposals. Later on, we will uh, expose those proposals. So, proposal to put up operation, however, it is close to size and growth, and we can get treating the project. So, it is going because from the day beginning to end till that we are also contribution for the upliftment of this district as well as for the Nagas in general even in nations why are the administrations and the governments are neglecting a mother area uh, uh, supplementing to the precedent, yeah, yeah. you have also first step. Mm -hmm. On 2nd August, we have had a joint consultative meeting with yeah. Am Amado Rangers Union and Amado Area GBS mm -hmm. Union, our, our headquarters Amado. And we have resolved to fight for this unjust treatment given to us yes, yes. by the district administration and all the higher ups within this aspirational project, mm -hmm. Kifri. Mm -hmm. So we have given the press release this morning. So we will wait for. This. We have already given uh, seven days of time to clarify on what ground such an ill treatment was given to Amado area. Yes. After receiving the clarification, if that what they gave us clarify, what they clarify us is not up to our expectation, then we will see it again. Since this movement and this uh, press release is not given only by the Amado Rangers Union, yes. but it is a the joint bodies have had a consultative meeting yes, yes. and we have given the press release so mm -hmm. after the seven days of the deadline we will see the joint bodies will sit again and will take the further course of mm -hmm. step so it is our humble request that we all stand for truth and development and progress and peace so this is Kidoka Santam speaking for Hornbill TV Kifri.